This is a deep dive video on recall augmented browsing. Now that is our newest feature and one that we're super excited about. The idea is that as you start storing content into recall, that content then resurfaces as you browse new content. To even get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is add the extension. Once you've done that, pin the extension so that it's available on any page that you browse to. Now, what you might notice is that as you're browsing, a little widget starts to appear. Now, with this recall widget, uh, you could just have a shortcut action. So say I want to jump straight into a detailed summary. I can click that and it will trigger the extension to produce a detailed summary for me. Now, the real reason I show you this is because it's through this that you can see how many connections on the page that you're browsing to you have back to your recall knowledge base. You can just see them with the open eye. So hovering over here, I can see that the word Matthew Walker is highlighted on this page and you can see that he's been mentioned in a book I was recommended as well as two other podcasts that I have on health and sleep. I can then use the widget, so these up and down arrows, to then navigate uh, all of these connections on my page. Uh, so in this example, I can see glycine is highlighted. I see that it's actually mentioned in a perplexity search that I saved into recall. And if I hover over the word, it'll take me back into my recall knowledge base to the exact part that it was mentioned. So that's really helpful because now I'm like, oh, glycine, that sounds familiar. I can see that it was in a search I did for some of the supplements that Brian Johnson takes, and I can see exactly how much he takes and when he takes it. So very quickly, uh, gives me context in terms of where I would have seen that before. There's a couple settings that you might want to know. So for example, let's say magnesium is not something that I actually want to see again. I can then click this I button and what it will do is then remove magnesium from ever being shown in the augmented browser again. Uh, I'm going to take you into the actual settings because this is where you can see all of the things that I can configure. So here I have words that I've hidden. I actually do want to see magnesium if it comes up again. So I'm going to go ahead and, and remove that. I can also disable the augmented browser and I also have control over that widget website so that it can or can't show on. Last thing I just want to make sure you're really clear on is with augmented browsing, it's local first. So nothing is actually leaving your browser. When you do save content into recall, so say for example, when I have the summary saved, that will then just add it into my actual recall knowledge base uh, where I have the full content, I have my notebook, I can chat with it, uh, etc. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy augmented browsing. For me, I was actually really delighted to see certain things um, connecting that I really were not expected to. And at the same time, sometimes I saw highlights that uh, weren't super relevant for me, so I just made sure to hide them. Um, this is our new feature. It is in beta, so we welcome all feedback. I uh, would love to know your experience so far, and thank you.